Hey guys, let's have a look at Virtual Drummer Brute, another member of the Virtual Drummer series by you, Jam. And this time we're talking about rock drumming. We're talking about mid 90s. I'm going to show you how to use. I'm going to show you how it sounds. I'm going to show you how you can route the different instruments to different output tracks. And of course, how to tweak and create your own sound. Let's get started. Before that, of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm uploading a lot of videos all the time. I have a lot of UGEM videos also. And like the video if you like it. Leave comments if you have any questions or anything at all. Just say hello. And let's get started now. Yeah, so let's have a quick look over the user interface and then I'll do all the sound demos and everything. So first of all, on the top here, we have the instrument. This is where we have the individual instruments like the kick, snare, the hats and everything else. It's mapped from C1 onwards and you can program your own MIDI, of course. So let's just uh, have a quick listen. Right. And then we have the style. So the style dictates the, uh, the way the phrases goes and you can build your own drum track here. So we have intros, we have verses, we have fills, we have choruses, we have endings, we have breakdown specials and stopping. And what you can do is you can audition the sounds pretty easy with the latch here. So I'm going to hit latch. And all you need to do is just select any of these verses. Right, and the idea here is that you can just go through the different sections. You can audition the styles and this is very easy. You just click the style menu here and you get a list of styles in different BPM settings. So let's try something else. So basically you change the style, but you didn't change anything else. All other settings are still the same. So what's the, the idea with the preset? So when you select any of the presets here, this will give you the entire set of parameters. It will give you the, the drum kit. It will give you the mix preset. It will give you the phrase and all other settings for the individual instruments but if you want to create your own no problem you can start with whatever and then tweak and create your own sound by selecting the drum kit the mix preset and the style and then you can even tweak it further if you go down here to the individual instruments and you can select each of them select them you have different types here. So for each of the instruments, you'll have choices of sounds of recordings. And you also have some, uh, some things that you can do. You can uh, tweak the decay, you can tune it, you can have reverb, you can solo mute. And uh, eventually you can also control the ambience mics. Uh, here in the bottom, we have the overheads, we have the room, and we have the master section where we have reverb, greet, and maximize. And we actually have some presets here. And you can click this and get different uh, mix presets. Very, very cool. So you can create your own kind of sound. So let's go back to focus here. So on the style, we also have micro tuning. 
If you click this, you'll see that we have speed, which we can half, we can double. We have feel, push, pull. We have swing and we have humanize between loose and tight. So let me show you how that sounds. I'm going to hit latch. I'm going to try this. Right, that's the idea of the micro tuning uh, timing and we have now the main section of this uh, of this plugin is the drum kits so you can go with any style and then change the drum kit so this is really good very uh, easy to use idea here because you can just have that style you can have the phrases and just audition them and and listen try to figure out what kit will be best for your track let's do that as well Right, and on the right, we have the mix preset, which is a combination of uh, different uh, miking techniques and other mix uh, ideas. And then you'll get different styles of mix presets like gentle, slump, bite, crush, bounce, and wide. And then you have the amount. And I didn't say, I, I, did, I didn't mention that we have smack, which will give you more punch in, uh, in the drums. So we're going to play with those two as well. Let's try them out. And of course you can set the amount and you can tweak the smack and, and you'll get different sounds. Sometimes it's very subtle. You don't really uh, hear the, the difference and sometimes it's very, very uh, obvious. So play with that. And then on the bottom here, we have the instrument uh, mics, but something that uh, is very important sometimes is to route the instruments to different tracks in your DAW. So I'm using Cubase. Of course, you can use any uh, DAW. And let me show you how this works. So you can see that when you select any of those instruments, we have kick, snare, uh, tom, hi-hat, right, crash. You'll see that we have choice of individual or master. Right now, everything goes to the master, meaning everything is mixed and then going through one output. That's the master output. But if you want to have different channels and do whatever mixing techniques uh, you use on drums, this is how you do it. Let's go for the kick. We'll select individual. We'll go for the snare. Individual, tom. Right, and now we have all of them routed to individual outputs. We'll go to the outputs and I'll just add those outputs here and now what we have we have all these outputs let's uh, let's just audition that and see what we have Right, so that's the idea. I now have different channels and I can process them separately very easily like any other drum uh, and I can uh, drum, drum kit and I can then group them together in a 
in a group for drums and do whatever I need. Of course, I can name them. This will be our kick. This will be the snare. And so on. And now, of course, you can also uh, have still the master to to have the ambience to have the room mics and everything else so you you always see something going on in the main channel here oh my god i just forgot to show you how to use the drag and drop this is pretty easy and pretty cool so all you need to do is get those dots here these are the dragging handles we'll just drag this and just drop it here and now we have the phrase Let's do another one. So that is Brood in a nutshell. I think now what we'll do is we'll do a demo and I'm gonna go through some of the presets. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything at all, I'll be happy to answer. Follow me in Facebook, Twitter, join the Discord server where we can talk and we can chat, not just me, but everybody. Talk about plugins, about production, or if you, know, if you have any questions and you want to uh, just interact directly, that's the way, the Discord. And of course, again, if you want to use my links uh, to buy this, I'll be more than happy. If you want to support the channel, there's a very good way to do so. Just join the channel membership and uh, I'll put the links in the description of this video. So I'll see you soon in the next videos. Thank you and bye bye. Stay for the demo.